Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is uh, real time service catalog training. In this training, we'll talk about that uh, workflow switch and how we can create the sub workflow and how we can call the sub workflow today. Basically, we'll focus on those stops. So, without wasting time, let's see that what requirement we have. So, if you see here the requirement sheet that we have completed the point number one where it is generating that. Uh, uh, Either it is generating manager approval or it is keeping the manager approval. It is generating the catalog task. Now it is saying that, uh, you know, for add group manager approval needed, for remove, uh, we don't need any approval, such kind of thing. So basically, uh, for add, we need a approval, um, group manager approval, and for remove, uh, we don't need any such kind of approvals. After that, through the run script, we can, you know, um, call or uh, through the run script we can call our um i mean through the run script after the through the run script we can add the actual user to the systems and through the script we can remove actual system so uh, if you see the, our workflow uh, so if i go to the workflow here uh, waiting for all this condition finally it is going to complete or it is uh, going to incomplete something is happening now we can achieve this same functionality here uh, let's do that. What are the things we are going to do that? So very first thing today we'll focus on the switch uh, Why we need the switch and uh, how we can use the switch we'll see So in the core if you see here We have options called switch under the conditions. So if you see uh, in this drop down, I do have a Option called act action equal to add user to the group remove user to the group Let's assume that you have a five options, right? So you can't uh, I mean that that is not a good option that you can add that op, uh, you can add the if block and see that the action is add then yes otherwise no if action is uh, no something like that you can do that but it is not the uh, not the very good option for four or five um four or five drop down value for that case we normally use the switch so let's add the switch first once you drag the switch it will ask for the variable for which variable you want to ma use the switch. So let's see that. In this case, we'll select that action. And once you select the actions, it is asking for variable name to, uh, you know, uh, select. You have a options called variables or fields. If you select the fields, you will be able to select the fields from the RITM. And based on the drop down, it will, uh, you know, various options will be select. I mean, show. I'll select the variables here and then I'll go back here and type uh, that call so that all this group manager catalog item variable is available now once we uh, see that we need to create the switch on the action why because action have a multiple options and based on the multiple options multiple things will be happen so we'll select actions here and click submit once we click the submit uh, you can see automatically system takes that uh, you know add user to the group remove user to the group these two options are coming directly from the uh, variables uh, portion so if you see the catalog item the catalog item actions have add to the group remove to the group so directly coming from there so you don't need to do anything you just select the variable and automatically came up here so after wait for condition it will go uh, and uh, go to the switch condition so add to the group or remove to the group. So I'll go further. And in this case, if somebody select add to the group, something will be happen. If somebody select remove to the group, something will be happen. So what will be happen? We do. So this is how we can use the switch case. And then switch is used for uh, you know four or five. If you have four or five drops drop down, you can use the switch. Now we'll create some sub workflow. And using the sub workflow, we'll call this um, call. Uh, from this workflow, we'll call the sub workflow, okay? So I can achieve the same functionality in this workflow, but I don't want to mess or uh, jam this workflow. I will create a sub workflow. For that, I'll go to the workflow and simply click new. So here I'll put that uh, sub workflow name. So what I'll do that group, player, group, uh, members, manager and then here we'll say that add user group 
so the benefit of the sub workflow is that we can use this workflow again and again for the various purpose i mean uh, we can call this workflow multiple times so that is the main benefit of the sub workflow so i will just change the table name is screq item so here and uh, click the submit button so in this case it will generate a one workflow and this workflow we are going to uh, add here okay so here what we'll do we'll type that group uh, if you see here um, once we type that group manager members you can see this is the our another workflow is showing i'll just simply drag that workflow and submit that okay and now in this workflow this is the, our the uh, one workflow this workflow will attach here similarly for the remove we'll create another separate workflow but for the time being i am going to attach this one so you understand two things it is adding user to the groups and for once somebody select that user to the group it will call to that um, you know that pair, uh, one uh, sub workflow and sub, after the executing of the sub workflow it will be ended so that's uh, here done what we will do as per the next requirement we will talk about that if it is add we need to have a group approval from which group they are requesting for so if there is any group and um, uh, trying to add I mean if if I want to add myself to a particular groups so I need to get a group approval uh, from these groups okay from this group I need to get an approval okay so let's do that I will do one thing I will simply go back to this uh, this is my sub workflow what I will do here I will try uh, if you see here we have a group approval I will simply drag that group approval so in this <coughs> So in this case, what we'll do, we'll say that uh, add uh, group, add group approval, okay, and then fulfillment, I'll talk about that, what is the fulfillment, fulfillment, I mean the stage, stage is the one that help you to, I know, set the uh, stages in your RITM, so I'll just simply set that um, this activity, and it doesn't matter that uh, if it is approve or reject i'm not setting anything for the timing i uh, will correct all these stuffs one by one but here one thing we need to be add that we need to add the groups that you are going to select here as part of your requirement for that what we have to do we have to go to this catalog item one more time and we need to collect that variables name so i'll go here that uh, variables name is that add user groups let's uh, open that and here i'll copy these um, variables name and go back to the workflow in this uh, groups you can directly if you have any direct group you know that direct group where it should go you can select that otherwise you have to go back to the advanced part and the way we have done for user approval we have to type the answer um, equal to blank array you have to declare and then answer dot push equal to variables dot um, this variables name before that we have to put the current and simply save that okay so pretty much these steps is done now we have a options called return value well, we'll talk uh, about that later but um, let's uh, raise the request and see our uh, add user the, to the group is working or not. So we'll just refresh our catalog item and I'll quickly submit that form. So in this case, I'm going to raise the request quickly. So if you see here, um, I'll go and quickly raise the request. So the request is successfully submitted. Now I'll search that uh, request number and open the RITM. and click the show workflow and close the task
So once we close the task, this is waiting for another, uh, I mean this manager approval. I'll just approve that. Once the manager approval is done, I'll just refresh that. This wait for condition is done. Now it's go to the workflow, the another sub workflow and then you can see it is waiting for this workflow completed. Once this workflow is done, it will go to the end. But the sub workflow is not uh, showing here. I'll just refresh the complete browser. And you can see that uh, another workflow, the sub workflow is attached here. I'll go to the RITM and you can see uh, the another approval is added for group approval and if I go to the group approval tab, you can see the group approval is there. I'll just approve this one. Once I uh, complete, I mean once I done this one, I'll the workflow will be automatically ended. And if I go back to the group workflow, I mean the main parent workflow, I can refresh that. So you can see that this workflow is ended here. So that's how you can do that, um, that uh, sub workflow. I'll quickly create for, uh, for the child one that is called um, remove user to the group. So I will copy this name and create a workflow. Name should be um, in this case remove. And the table will be a CREQ item, the similar way we have done. And here, I'll just submit that. So this workflow also attached. I'll go back to here and then search here. You can see the remove workflow is visible. I'll just attach to that and submit. And here I attach that remove workflow. And so once that is done, we'll go to the end step. Okay, now I'll quickly submit our form. And this time I'll select the remove option. Once I select the remove option, uh, the group name are visible. I'll select one groups and order. Go to the quickly request and search with the request. And open the RITM. I'll do the same steps quickly. This task, I'll close that. I'll click the show workflow. And it is waiting for approval. So once we approve that. So this uh, work, this RITM is approved. So once we select that approve, it select the removed group from the user and then it's called that removed group user and then it's ended because the remove workflow doesn't have anything at that moment. I just approved, uh, refresh that and you can see the remove group manager is visible right now. So that's all. I'll quickly do one more changes here. You see the requested for is not mandatory at that moment. I'll mark that mandatory. Quickly go to this RITM. I mean this catalog item. And this is coming from a variable set. So what I'll do, I'll mark this requested for as a mandatory. Because all these things are happening based on that our requested for. So requested for should be always mandatory. And just quickly refresh and see that these things are properly affected or not. So right now you can see that requested for also mandatory. So that's it for today. Uh, we, I think we already covered um, that uh, switch condition. We already covered that um, uh, child workflow, we, how we can call from main workflow to the child workflow. We already covered that group approval. 
So that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.